Welcome to the Happiness Happens podcast. I'm Simona Costantini, blogger, storyteller, and life enthusiast. Each week, I will bring you an idea, guest, or positive thought to help inspire you to create happiness and live on purpose. We decide the stories we tell ourselves and where we choose to invest our energy. It's time to cultivate a positive mind for a positive, more meaningful life. I'm so grateful you popped in. Now let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Happiness Happens podcast. This is the 21st episode and I'm so excited because I really like this topic and I think it's really important. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my week this week and I had an incredibly challenging week. I was faced with a lot of really tough situations, uh, dealt with a lot of really hard emotions and the main one was trust and whether it had to do with trust in myself, trust in other people, uh, trust is so hard to build up to begin with and when we don't have trust and when we lose trust, that's when we run into some different challenges. So we are going to talk about trust today and what is so important about it, but at the end of this episode, I'll leave you with tips to rebuild trust with others and rebuild it with yourself because I think it's really important to know how to handle different situations. So, for those of you who know me in real life, you'll probably know that I'm the type of person that feels every single emotion. So, for me, when I feel like my character is being attacked or that I'm being painted into someone else that I'm not, uh, based on the words that other people say, it actually impacts me on an incredibly deep, deep level. And this week was so testing for me because every day I tried to bring myself back out of that place of sadness and that place of betrayal, Uh, but for the life of me, I really just couldn't. And I don't know if this was because I was extremely exhausted, overly tired, I couldn't tell you, but I was trying to utilize all of the tools and all the tricks and the techniques and the lessons that I've learned over uh, this last year, but nothing could break through how I was feeling and nothing could break through the walls that I had put up around myself. I think this happened because when trust is broken, uh, for people like me who feel all things, you need to get to a certain point of acceptance. And it's accepting that what happened is what happened. Uh, Accepting that some people in life just really aren't good people or just aren't the people that you thought they were. And that some people just want to see you fail and just want to bring you down. And no matter what you do or what you say, some people will have a preconceived idea about how you are and just will never be able to be authentic to you. And that's just because in life, we have people who are healed and people who are not healed. And the people who are negative like this and just want to bring you down are the people who have insecurities and they're the ones who are hurting the most. And... You know, they just happen to be the ones that can't be supportive, but instead are destructive because they've learned that that behavior is what will get them feeling better and what will get them ahead and what will get them more liked. And more often than not, these are the people who cast really negative energy onto you. But then you have, on the other hand, so many people in your life that want to see you win and so many people that are cheering you on. And so it's about choosing which emotion you want to invest in and how you're going to pick up the pieces and how you're going to move on. It's about choosing if you want to receive the negative energy that's being put onto you and how you show up after an event has happened has everything to do with you and has nothing to do with other people. Other people cannot influence how you react to something. How you react speaks to your growth and speaks to your story and speaks to who you are as a person and nobody else. So even though this week was emotionally exhausting for me, uh, I learned some things and I wanted to share them with you. So I learned that how I show up every day is most important. What I do for others around me is what shapes me and fuels me. I'm not responsible for what other people say about me but I am responsible for the words I say and the actions that I take and how I react and respond to different situations. And the most important in my books, because you know how much I love my family and friends, but the biggest thing that I realized was that I have family and friends who support me and want to see me win. So for me and my big family and supportive group of friends, 
this is a lot of people in my corner that want to see me win. And there's so much value in that because even though there's maybe one or two that don't, there's a whole tribe of people that do. And so when we feel alone and when we feel lost and when we feel like we don't know how to move on, we have to go back to our network, back to our people, back to the ones who love us to help shape us and help bring us back up to where we need to be. When it comes to trust, here are some of my tips to rebuilding it. I think this one can be used time and time again, and it's do what you say and say what you mean. You have to be a person of your word. So if you did something wrong, own it. If you didn't, fight for it. But at the end of the day, be a person of your word and be the person that does what they say and says what you mean. Don't go off and say things that you don't because it just doesn't get you into any good situations. It brings you right back down into a place of negativity that maybe you worked really, really hard to get back out of. The second one is to forgive the person or the situation. You can't begin to move on unless you forgive. And the person that has hurt you might never know that you forgive them and that's okay. It's more for you internally that you can forgive someone or a situation without having to tell them. And that signifies true growth. You have to accept what you did or what the other person did was wrong. So if you've done something and you're in the wrong, you just have to sit there with yourself, your emotions and your ego and accept that what you did was wrong. And that maybe there's no huge way of fixing it right now, but acceptance is the first piece, I think. Another tip is to release the anger that you feel. The anger you feel right now will pass and it's only going to block your capability and your ability to move forward in a situation. So just take the anger and release it and however you are able to do that. Another big one is don't try and get revenge because revenge comes from a place of negativity and will actually do a lot more harm than good. Um, getting revenge on people is just bad karma and bad juju all around. Um, if you're presented with a situation and maybe you've done something wrong but you're trying to prove that you're not, um, don't because at the end of the day, life plays out the way that it's supposed to and getting revenge is one of the most negative things I think you can do. And impacts more than just yourself and oftentimes just creates more harm than it does good. Be aware of what you share and to who. And I've learned this a lot along the way that not everyone needs to know your life and your business and that's okay. You need to figure out who those people are. Who can you trust? Another really important one is to be committed to rebuilding trust. Trust is a choice and it takes time and hard work every single day. It won't happen overnight, but with commitment, it can be rebuilt again. I also want to leave you with some tips to rebuild trust with yourself because sometimes if we've done something wrong or if we've been put in a situation where we're not sure how to react, um, the trust we have with ourself is more often than not uh, what suffers a lot in a situation. So acknowledging where you are emotionally and how you're feeling is super, super important because you can't discount how you feel and you have to take those emotions and know that it's okay to have them. Also to not cast blame for your actions on other people. Uh, you have to take responsibility for whatever the situation is and what has happened and sometimes you take responsibility for things that might be untrue and that's okay. It just helps shape you and your growth and the person that you are because we can't always prove that people aren't good people. Life does that for us. But when you can take responsibility for your actions and acknowledge that what you did wasn't right, uh, that's a good way to start. Acceptance is something that's so important because when you accept what you did was wrong, um, you're taking ownership for what happened and ownership is super, super important. But being yourself and being kind to yourself is equally as important. So let yourself be sad or let yourself process your emotions, but make a plan to pick the pieces back up and move on. And you'll do this one step at a time. You'll do this by making small promises to yourself every day uh, that helps correct the behavior that you aren't proud of. 
and know that your judgment isn't wrong and what you feel has value. Don't discount yourself because what you feel and what you know has a lot of value in it. And just because someone doesn't feel the same way as you does not mean that the way you feel is wrong and the way they feel is right. And my last tip for rebuilding trust with yourself is that this situation won't last and it will pass. So you need to be able to find comfort in that and that this is only temporary and that it will pass. And one of the things with this that's helped me a lot was the rule of fives. And I can't remember where it came from at all. So if someone knows, please let me know. But think to yourself, will the problem that I'm in right now be relevant in five days, five months, or five years? And based on wherever your problem falls into, that will help you determine the severity of it and help put some perspective back into how you feel. So perhaps the situation will last you five months. Well, let's take some corrective action steps to get through the next five months and be the best version that I can of myself every single day those five months and find ways to work through the challenges that you're faced with. As a closing thought to this episode, um, one of my favorite analogies is from Brene Brown. And she has this story about marble jar friends. And whoever has listened to her, you'll be aware of this story. And it's actually a really incredible story with a lot of learning lessons. You know, she says that people have to earn the right to hear your story. And this is a big one for me because I'm so trusting of other people and feel like I can tell anyone anything. And more often than not, it backfires on me. But you need to make sure that you're only sharing intimate details of your life with people who really care about you, people who take your emotional well-being seriously, and who you can count on for support. You have to trust how you feel about other people and trust them when they show their true colors. And so the idea with the marble jar friends is that each person that you meet has a marble jar. And when you meet them for the first time, it's a blank slate. And when they do things to build your trust, you put marbles in the jar. And then when you when they do things that takes trust away from you, uh, the marbles come out. And so it's about who fills up your marble jar and who doesn't fill it up and who's negative and who takes too much of your time and your energy that doesn't deserve it. And so you guys, you know, we really need to have trust in life. It's a fundamental thing in relationships, whether it's relationships with yourself, with a significant other, with colleagues, with friends, with family, you know, it's such an important thing. So if you or someone else has been untrustworthy, you need to recognize that trust needs to be rebuilt somehow, but also acknowledge that people make mistakes and we can be apologetic for our mistakes and learn from our mistakes. And that is where growth happens because you can't get to the good stuff without getting through the hard stuff, right? And every situation that you're put through is a test for you and how will you get out of this situation? How will you come to the other side? Give yourself and give other people a bit of grace. I think at the end of the day, we're all just doing the best that we can. And you know, like I said, we do make mistakes and sometimes uh, they're big lessons and sometimes they're little ones. But don't think that everyone is out to get you because they are not out to get you. So you guys, Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Uh, If you like it, if it resonates with you, leave a comment, leave a review, share it with a friend, share it with someone who needs it because we all need to know a little bit more about trust and we should all integrate this more into our lives. Uh, But I would be so, so, so appreciative of your comments and reviews. It really makes the show what it is and helps me know what's working, what isn't, and what you want to hear more of. So on that note, everyone, have a great week and I will see you on next week's episode. Thanks so much for being here today. I hope these words have brought you inspiration, insight, and a bit more happiness. Please leave a comment or review if this episode resonates with you. I would be so grateful. Until next time, remember that happiness happens when you're least expecting it.